Hello everyone, welcome to the Painted South and to my Christmas home tour for 2022. Less than two weeks ago, our house was still in home improvement project mode, but with Christmas upon us, I had to get busy creating a festive and cozy environment for our family to enjoy. So now let's see what I came up with in a short amount of time. So this year I wanted to use traditional bright red and green with touches of blue and gray. And you'll see the inspiration placemat in just a moment. This year I tried to do a look that I always love and that's mixing lots of patterns and prints, adding lots of textures and adding a few rustic elements mixed in. This Better Homes and Gardens tablecloth made the perfect Christmas curtains for the kitchen. I used the leftover piece from the tablecloth as a table runner under this display. These beautiful mixed poinsettia pots are from Walmart.
We are hosting Christmas dinner here this year, but I can't do a pretty tablescape because my cat likes to jump up on the table and I'm constantly cleaning it. For Christmas dinner, I will add a candle to this rustic metal tree, and the placemat underneath with the birds and berries was my inspiration for this year's Christmas decor. This Santa was passed down from my sister Charlotte a few years ago. I have one of these little Christmas trees in a picnic basket that I found on Facebook Marketplace for just $5. It has a tartan plaid liner. This long section of cabinetry is used as our pantry space. I have decorated the countertops just enough to still leave space for all of the cookies, candies, cakes, and pies that I'll be making over the next few days. I really love this gold nativity piece. I didn't have time to tone down the gold finish on it, but I will probably do so for next year and use it on the mantle. Most of you probably know that we are still looking for new furniture for our living spaces, but I still managed to create a cozy seating area using what we already had on hand. After a very hectic year, we are so incredibly grateful to have half of our house settled enough to relax and enjoy. This living room does have its own layout and design challenges, so I tried to balance the room with varying heights and multiple trees. While most people enjoy having their TV exposed, I am actually really loving this Ethan Allen Entertainment Center that I found on Marketplace. I mixed a variety of greenery into the main tree, along with pine cones and red velvet ribbon, different red, green, and white ornaments, and accented it with birds, bird cages, and birds' nests.
The Merry Christmas sign was a DIY project from several years ago. I draped the garland in an asymmetrical style to balance the tree on the left side to the right side. We've had this Santa Claus for many years and I always find a place for him. This year I gave him a little extra height by placing him on this vintage Asian drum table. I place this seven foot slim tree in a vintage Drexel coffee table base as its tree stand. I love adding this red yarn and furry yarn as a garland. I really tried to keep all of the trees very simple with just a few ornaments. To add interest, I stacked some frames around the base of this Christmas tree, which is sitting on a matching entertainment center base. I added touches of blue using these pottery pieces from Hobby Lobby, and I painted some wooden bead garland as well. In the corner beside the front door, I created a temporary drop zone for all of the coats, keys, purses, and gloves. This guest room has been decorated with our son in mind. I asked him what colors he wanted and he said green and gray, and so I decided on a Mandalorian theme because we all love that series. We've added an oversized television for movie watching. And little Grogu, or Baby Yoda as people often call him, is helping to decorate the tree using the force. Thank you. 
I added gray fur yarn as garland on this cashmere pencil tree, which I placed in another one of those metal planter boxes that I got at Hobby Lobby during their spring sale. I also draped a tree skirt and some fur ribbon to soften the edges. I also added themed artwork in these thrifted frames to complete the look. And to give the illusion that the bed was zooming through space, I added twinkling LED lights that I purchased on sale from Lowe's. I layered the bed with a down alternative duvet and topped with a faux fur blanket by Ugg Brand. In the second guest room, I used darker, richer colors and I kept it very simple. I really love these pillows that I purchased from Home Goods during the fall season because they can transition into any season of the year. For winter, I just added some richer, darker throw pillows with it and heavier curtains on the windows. The decorations inside this French country cabinet are also simple, calm, and the colors are very subtle. This little thrifted tree has just one strand of clustered lights on it, and I placed it inside of this old wooden bucket that I found at an antique store.
that this room feels warm and cozy, perfect for a cold winter's day nap. I hope you enjoyed my Christmas home tour for 2022. And as we all celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ, I pray you and your family have peace in your lives and gratefulness in your hearts for all the blessings and grace we receive every day. I'm wishing you all a very Merry Christmas. I hope to see you in my next video, and until then, bye for now.